here today looking at just a dandy six gun. This is a uh, Ruger Talo edition uh, Black Hawk called the Carry Hawk. It's a Wiley Clap designed uh, six gun and it's just really neat from head to toe, stem to stern. This thing is really cool. It's um, to start with, it's got a bird's head grip frame, which I like a bird's head grip frame as long as the caliber is not too punishing to shoot. Uh, they handle just fine for me. Uh, the grips on this one are black and they, they're a slim gunfighter profile. Works really well, feels great in the hand, either left handed or right handed, because they're profiled the same on both sides. The finish is a sort of a dull matte finish which is not a traditional looking thing and some people don't like it because of that reason. I think it looks cool. It looks business like it looks cool. The barrel is uh, four and five eighths, um, not four inches as some people have reported. They're four and five eighths. If they made them in four inches, then uh, some states couldn't let you hunt with them and uh, you couldn't have them in Canada. So they're a standard four and five eighths length. Uh, the barrel is milled with a couple of little flats on the side of it. This probably relieves a little bit of weight of it, probably not enough to make any difference, but again, it attributes uh, to the uh, cool business-like appearance of these six guns. The sights on it, it's got an, an excess big dot front side on it, uh, which is really great, really easy to pick up. It's a high-profile sight. The rear sight is a standard Ruger adjustable sight, but the blade in the rear sight is a V-notch instead of the uh, square notch. It makes, uh, it makes precision shooting to me just a little bit more difficult, but if you're in a hunting situation, especially if you're in, a, like a, in bear country or if you're carrying this gun for self-defense, you want something that you can pick the front sight up on really fast. And this gun really works for that. I was really, I thought it would, but I was surprised at how quickly you could pick up the front sight. The front sight just nestles down into that rear sight so quick and easy, much quicker than a standard brass bead sight that's just you know 16th of an inch or something like that this this thing is a full eighth of an inch big old white dot hanging out there on the end of the barrel and it's easy to see easy to pick up easy to nestle down into that into that rear sight it's a 45 coat but the cool thing about it too is it comes with an extra cylinder and 45 acp i love 45 acp six guns whether they be single action or double action uh, 45 ACP out of a 45 revolver is just neat to me because they're fun to shoot. You can get the ammo relatively cheaply and it's just, just really fun to shoot. Back to the gun, it's all dull finish, uh, dull blue finish. The, it's got a Super Black Hawk style hammer on it with the flare on it and the, and the grooves are really easy to handle, really easy to cock. And the hammer and trigger are also finished in a matte blue finish. It's just a Nice looking, business like looking gun. Um, some people have fussed about what they look like. I think they're really cool looking. And they handle great and they shoot great. I'm going to start off with a good uh, all purpose load for the 45 Colt. It's a double tap hunter, uh, 255 grain key style bullet, doing uh, about 900 feet per second out of this uh, shorter barrel. It's uh, clocked at 950 out of the seven and a half inch barrel from the factory. Next I'm gonna run just a little bit more powerful load. Uh, this is a Buffalo Boar's standard pressure heavy 45 coat. It's also a 255 grain uh, lead semi wad cutter key style bullet. Just running about 50 feet per second faster, so it's pretty much the same as the double tap load was. Next, we're going to step up a little bit in power. This is a uh, Buffalo Boar's. 325 grain uh, flat point lead bullet moving about 1300 feet per second. This is a screamer. It's a, it's, it's a whole other level of power.
Well, I finally got zeroed in on the steel on that last one. It was, uh, I had to hold down on it quite a bit. Uh, this load is, uh, it's quite a bit more powerful than what I've been shooting, what your standard loads are in the 45 Colt. This brings it up to magnum level performance. Ruger, they're a limited, limited run of, of, uh, of uh, six guns from uh, Talo distributors, which is a group of distributors. Um, both Davidson's Gallery of Guns that we deal with and Lipsy's are Talo affiliated. So if you get your guns from those uh, distributors through your dealer, if your dealer deals with those distributors, then you're all set as uh, soon as you can get one. I bought mine through regular retail channels and it took me several months to get this. I had to wait a pretty good bit on it. But it was worth the wait. This is a really cool six gun. It ain't going nowhere. I'm going to keep this thing and I'm going to shoot it. Um, you can find these at Gallery of Guns website using the Gun Genie. The Gun Genie is a pretty cool deal because you can uh, you can put in your zip code and it'll return dealers in your area who want to bid for your business. So you're not cutting out your local guy. Uh, but you're still getting a good price because they're having to competitively bid against each other. And it'll tell you what you're going to have to pay out the door, the price of the gun, the price of the whatever your local jurisdiction's extortion fee is for your uh, police circuit. I have my civil rights today. Whatever that's going to cost you. Sales tax, whatever the government wants to add on to the thing. Um, they'll give you the total amount that you're going to have to pay. So there's no surprises going in. You go in there and you give the guy your money, you get out of there with your gun. As soon as the government lets you, here in Tennessee, you just got to wait a few minutes to get a little approval. Some places are still a waiting period, and some places you probably can't get them at all. But that's sad, but that's just the way it is. Uh, another cool thing to do with these, to get these, is at Lipsy's Distributors down in Louisiana. They're a great bunch of folks. Lipsy's is where I got mine through. I uh, got mine uh, sent to Brigham Hardware in Dover which is our local hardware store closest to me here. And uh, they're a good bunch of folks and they order guns through Lipsy's. Lipsy's is a great bunch of folks. Jason Klossner up there at Lipsy's is a really good friend of mine. And uh, he's a, uh, he, he works for a good outfit there at Lipsy's. They got a thing, they got a dealer finder on their website. You can go in there and put in your zip code and uh, they'll send you links to uh, Lipsy's affiliated dealers in your area and you can get with them on getting you one of these and I recommend that you get you one of these. They're really cool. They're a good six gun. They're a full size Blackhawk so they can take the heavy loads. You ain't going to beat them up. You ain't going to beat them loose and it's, it's, they're not all that expensive compared to, you know, for what you get. It's not going to beat your pocketbook up too bad. I recommend you check these out. They're from Sturm Ruger and Talo Distributors and they're really neat. One of the cool things about the Carry Hawk is that it also shoots 45 ACP. It's got an extra cylinder chambered for 45 ACP. I love 45 ACP out of a revolver. It shoots light, shoots easy. It's just a lot of fun to shoot, whether you're shooting it in a single action revolver like this one or a double action revolver. In a single action revolver, people always ask me, do you need a moon clip? No, single action doesn't take a moon clip like a double action does because uh, you load them through the side, you don't pop them all in there one time. So in a single action, they're bored the uh, case headspace on the mouth. So uh, you don't need a moon clip for this. You don't need any kind of clip for this. It just slides in there like any other cartridge would. But the 45 ACP makes it a whole lot more versatile. Also 45 ACP ammo is generally pretty cheap to get if you can, uh, if you can find it these days. Uh, if you get like a standard 230 grain ball loads like this is a this load here is an arms core 230 grain full metal jacket ball 45 acp load <laughs> 45 acp is just a whole lot of fun to shoot uh doesn't kick too bad but it's still Hits with enough power where you know you're shooting something. That's a good thing. And uh, the sights on this gun, they've got it's got a big dot front sight on it. And uh, you know it might not be the best thing in the world for punching paper at 50 yards, but it really is quick to get on target. On these on, on my steel and everything, it's really doing great. It's quick 
it nestles into that V notch really quickly to get you, let you get back on target in a hurry. Federal's 230 grain high shock jacketed hollow point load is a dandy load for general carry. For If you want to carry this gun for defense, it's called a carry hawk, so it wouldn't be a bad choice for that. Uh, it's not the fastest shooting thing in the world, but you, you know a lot of times you don't need it to be. You shoot what you're comfortable carrying and what you're proficient with. If you're proficient with a single action, by all means, carry a single action. There's nothing wrong with that. And the 230 grain Federal high shock load will be a good uh, choice for that because it's a, a 230 grain load. It uh, duplicates the ballistics of the, of the full metal jacket hardball ammo, but it's a nicely designed jacketed hollow point. And it would be a good choice for something like that. I mean, you could shoot, you know, if you wants to carry a gun with the, uh, say the Buffalo Bore 325s or something like that, well, that's all well and good, but you can only kill something so dead. And uh, not only that, you, sh you carry something like that, you're liable to penetrate into the next county someplace. So you, you, if you're going to carry a gun for personal defense, I recommend a good uh, jacketed hollow point, whether it's in the 45 ACP or the 45 Colt. I do like the 45 ACP for those applications. It's, just, it's hard to beat. They've been around for well over 100 years, and there's just nothing wrong with them. The 45 Colt would be a great choice for hunting. The heavy loads in 45 Colt would be a wonderful choice for like carrying in a in bear country and stuff like that because you need something that's going to be fast on target with that big dot side and that V notch rear side and you need if you got to scrape a bear off of mama's favorite boy that's that's what you need but if you're just looking to say get around town or something like that there's nothing wrong with the 45 acp and a good hollow point load is hard to beat for that The holster I've got this six gun in is uh, from Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters. This is a standard Blackhawk holster for a, for a four or five ace Blackhawk that I've had around for a while. It's a really cool, it's a cattleman holster. It's a uh, carved with a big Ruger bird on it, which really looks neat. And it really works well for this gun because you know, that's more of a modern sort of, you know, it's not like a floral carving, which I love all that kind of traditional stuff too, but this is more of a modern, deal the way the bird wraps around the holster and all this kind of stuff so it really works good with a modern six gun like this this is a six gun that's basically the way they've been making them since 1836 but it's completely modern and i got it in a modern holster it's a really cool match the holster i had to work it in a little bit because the front side on this thing is so dang tall and it's almost straight up in the back i had to work it in just a little bit but it worked in just fine and it's the holster is, is really good, quick in, quick out. Everything's good with it. I've got it on a what Rob calls a chesty puller rig, which this is a shoulder holster that converts a belt holster for shoulder carry. I don't often wear a belt because I'm wearing overalls all the time, and I wear a lot of shoulder holsters. This is one, it's one of the best shoulder rigs available. It's a chest rig, actually, but it's one of the best available. It, it's made so that you you have your hands free if you're out knocking around in the woods or something like that but your gun's right there where you need it and uh, the, the chesty puller normally it'll adapt to any pancake style holster but this here has got uh, rob's conversion on it which ta has a little length of belt in it and it just lets you easily put any pretty much any belt holster on this thing it just snaps right in place and you're all good to go it's a chesty puller rig from Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged. Uh, they're really neat. They're, they're, they're rugged. They're dependable. And they're pretty inexpensive, too. You'd be surprised how little one of these things will cost you. So check them out at simplyrugged.com.